Hello again. Today we are going to be talking about using a linear graph to model any data that we may want to represent. So let's get started. Let's say there's a reservoir holding 250 liters of water and it's emptied steadily by draining out 20 liters of water every minute. So here's a table that shows the first few minutes of the data. All right, what we notice is the time is increasing um, in increments of one minute and the volume is decreasing um, by 20 liters with every new row in the table. That to me uh, represents a linear graph or a linear model. So here's a graph uh, using those same data points. Since the relationship between time and volume can be represented with a line, we can say that these two variables are linearly related. All right, so using that same example, we find the slope of that line just like we would with any other line, and that's negative 20. The y-intercept, which is where we started, is 250. So the equation is y equals negative 20x plus 250. We can use this model to predict that after 10 minutes, there will be 50 liters of water in the reservoir. Now the line is an exact model because all of the points are perfectly fit on that line. So it's a good model to use. Um, if the points are close to the line, but not on it, then we don't say it's an exact model. We say it's an approximate model. All right, so here's an approximate model. There's a person that hikes over a hilly terrain and the table shows the distance traveled after certain periods of time. So time is measured in minutes and the distance is measured in meters. So here's a linear model that is approximate because the points that were in the table are graphed on the graph and the line is also graphed, but the points aren't exactly on the line. They are very, very close to the line. Uh, but because they are closer to being linearly related than any other kind of relationship, like a parabola or a hyperbola or something like that, then um, we can still make predictions. We can say that they are somewhat linearly related. It's an approximation, uh, but we can still make predictions. They just won't be as accurate as they were in the water example. So for example, uh, if I wanted to know how far the hiker would travel in 10 minutes, I could take that value of 10, plug it into that equation of y equals 59.286x and get a distance of 592.86 meters. So that's approximately how far the hiker will have traveled in 10 minutes. So that is using a linear model to approximate data and to predict data given the data set that we have collected so far. If you have any questions about that, please let me know and I will see you tomorrow.